everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching The Awesomest Reviews. <laughs> Those of you who have followed this channel for a while know that I don't do this full time. It would be great if I could, but YouTube can't pay for my dog's 87 life-saving medications. Not to mention my Diet Coke addiction. Nope, I still have my day job, and believe it or not, I'm actually a teacher, which means I'm talking all day long, which normally isn't a problem, but you might remember a few months ago I got really badly sick and actually didn't make a video for a while. I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks, as you no doubt noticed. Uh, the main reason for that is just I've been kind of sick. One of the reasons it took me so long to get my voice back was because of my day job. When you spend all day addressing a room full of students, it takes a big toll on your voice. So by the time I got home every day, my voice was just raspy and I couldn't really record anything. And that entire time I kept thinking to myself, I wish I had some sort of audio system in my classroom so I could address the entire class without having to speak over the top of them with my natural voice. And I actually did find one. The Mayono AU CO4 is a portable karaoke speaker. I purchased this thing for about 76 bucks on Amazon. Uh, there is a link down below. This video is not sponsored, but there is a link below if you're interested in it. Anyway, while I was buying it, I noticed they had another product that kind of piqued my interest. Simply because it was compatible with this PA I was buying, and it looks a little better than the microphones pictured here. So I went ahead and ordered that too. But you guys know me, I love reviewing microphones, so after I placed that order, I actually went to the company's website in hopes of finding a recording studio quality microphone that I could buy and do a review on. And while I did find some possibilities, my interest was instead drawn to a pair of lapel mics that the company offers. You see, the main subject I teach is actually film, and as most filmmakers know, half your battle is getting clean, crisp audio. And I've actually tried a few lapel mics in the past, I actually ordered one from the Geek App a while ago, but the results were scratchy and garbled at best. So I'm really excited to try out the lapel mics. But first, let's take a look at this PA. So this is what the outside of the box looks like. Uh, this is actually how it showed up on my door from Amazon. Pretty basic. There's some information here on the side about the battery and the speaker and stuff like that. Now that the box is open, let's see what comes inside of it. First up, we have, let's see here, it's a little baggie of stuff like instructions. There's a power adapter here, remote control, looks like a strap, and an aux cable is what it looks like. Let's open this up. Here's the instruction manual. It has a nice picture of the unit on the front, and we open it up here. We have some basic information about the layout, where all the features are, things like that. Nothing really of any huge interest here. Also in this bag we have this strap, it looks like it attaches to it so you can kind of carry it around like a bag almost. And a remote control that controls the entire unit. Pretty cool. There's also a standard wall adapter so you can charge the built-in rechargeable battery, which is pretty cool. This unit actually comes packaged with two of these wireless microphones, which is pretty handy if you want to sing duets with someone. The body of these microphones are plastic and it looks like they take uh, standard batteries with a screw-off bottom here kind of reminds me of an uh, old school flashlight. They were pretty smart and color coded the bottom cap so you can tell the two microphones apart because otherwise they are virtually identical. Underneath the styrofoam we have the speaker unit itself and that's all that's inside the box. Uh, it's a lot more vibrant than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting this nice bright blue, but I'm kind of liking it actually. It matches the decor of my studio here. So this thing's pretty sweet and it gets surprisingly loud and the wireless microphone definitely helps, especially in a classroom environment. I would say this is the perfect PA system for educators. It's small and compact and totally portable with its built-in rechargeable battery. And when you're not using it to address a room, you can actually use it to play music from pretty much any audio source you can think of. The speaker works with aux cables, USB thumb drives, micro SD cards, Bluetooth, and it even has a built-in FM tuner in case you want to listen to the actual radio. This thing's designed for karaoke, and with all of these input options, there should be no hassle at all to get your music to start playing through this thing. The one thing I wish it did have would be a feature that will turn any song you play through it into a karaoke track. You see, in music, vocal tracks are typically mixed dead center of the stereo signal. And there are a lot of pieces of software out there that use phase cancellation to eliminate the center of the audio signal, essentially removing the vocals and leaving a less than perfect, but still totally usable instrumental version of the song. It would be cool if this thing had an option to do that on any music you played through it. But really, there aren't a whole lot of negative things for me to say about this speaker. 
The one thing that's pretty apparent right away is that the plastic wireless microphones are anything but high quality. I mean, don't get me wrong, they sound great, the quality is there in the sound, and they do their job well, but the plastic construction makes me wonder how long they last at a karaoke party. Because you know, drunk people. Moving on now to the next product I bought from this company, which is called the Professional Wireless Microphone. That's what it's actually called, apparently. There's no real branding of any sort on the box, and it doesn't even say the company's name on it. In fact, I had to go back through and double check that it was in fact manufactured by the same company, and it is. It's currently $42 on Amazon, and if you already have some kind of sound system, you can totally use this thing without buying anything else. I decided to buy it because it looks a lot more higher quality than the plastic microphones that came with the karaoke speaker, and it's 100% compatible. And this microphone really is a full-blown metal microphone like you would expect, but I'm getting ahead of myself, let's do the unboxing. So as you can see, there's not really any kind of branding on the box, it just says professional microphone, and then on the back down here it says the final interpretation is owned by the company. I mean, other than that, there's nothing on here, and if I didn't know who I purchased it from, the box wouldn't really tell me. Opening it up, we can see the microphone right away, as well as the instruction manual. Um, I do have to say the instruction manual wasn't particularly helpful. It only has a few pages and doesn't really have a whole lot of information in those few pages. The microphone itself has a really nice build quality. It feels good in the hand, it's nice and heavy. Uh, I was not expecting really anything at all. Uh, it's got a charging port here on the back. You can plug in a standard USB charger to charge it up. It's got a power button on the front. Uh, the bottom part is where you transmit. It's got a little screen, nice metal grill. It feels really good actually when you're holding it. Uh, it's definitely far more professional than those other microphones. Also inside here is this USB dongle thing. This is actually the receiver. So this has to be powered via USB and then it actually receives a signal from the microphone and you can plug an aux cable into the side and plug that aux cable into any sound system you want, which makes it really handy for wireless transmission. Uh, inside this box, we have something. What's in here? Let's see, it looks like, ah, yes, a charging cable, USB, uh, basically so you can charge the microphone. That's nice to have. Uh, what else do we got here? It looks like a aux cable, probably about six feet if I had to guess, and a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter, which is always handy just in case you have a sound system that uses a quarter inch size. Always cool to have. So right away, the bottom line of this microphone is that it's actually really good. If you need this to do a wedding or a presentation, or if you're gonna use it inside of a classroom, this thing will do the job. If you already have some kind of sound system or speaker that you could plug the receiver end of this into, it will cover everything you need to do and sound really great doing it. The build quality is pretty decent. It's actual metal, unlike the plastic bikes that came with the PA. So there is one piece of plastic on the bottom here where it transmits from, but I think unless you were to step on this, or maybe if you dropped it directly onto that somehow, maybe you'd have a problem, but it does seem pretty sturdy, and I don't think there's gonna be any issues at all. So how do you use this microphone? To hook it up, you take the USB receiver and plug it into something. You can plug it into a phone charger like this and use the USB for power only, or you can plug the USB into your PC and it will work like a USB sound card, allowing you to record directly to your PC. If you're using this mic with a PA or other loudspeaker, just plug it into the power source and then plug the included aux cable into your speaker. The PA from a few minutes ago has a convenient USB port right on top, so power and sound inputs are right there. So the good news is this thing is built really well and it feels really nice in the hand. It's wireless, it's easy to use, and it produces a nice, clean, strong signal. It also looks way more professional than the wireless microphone that came with that uh, karaoke machine. The only problem is it has this weird echo effect that seems to be on all the time. I checked the Amazon page and saw other people asking about this effect and whoever was responding seems to think the customers are getting feedback caused by being too close to the speakers or having their speaker volume too loud or having the microphone setting set up so that it loops back, uh, essentially creating feedback. But no, there's some kind of built-in audio effect. I mean, there has to be. This is what the microphone sounds like without any special effects turned on and nothing weird happening. Now, of course, in a live setting, if you're addressing a crowd or a wedding or something like that, a little bit of reverb is not a problem at all. In fact, most people will turn a little bit of reverb on on their sound equipment anyway because the dry signal sounds kind of flat and boring, but it would be nice if they gave us the option to turn it off on this thing. The mic also has to be charged by being plugged into the wall. I tried hooking it up to my USB on my desktop all night and it never charged, but as soon as I plugged it into the wall, this red light came on and then it started charging right away. I have no idea how long it actually takes to charge as that information isn't anywhere in the manual. And when I first tried to use it, I had no idea if it was on or not when I pressed the power button because the LCD screen stays on all the time. 
The key is the blue backlight. When that's on, the microphone is actually working. The red light means it's charging, but neither of those pieces of information are noted in the instructions, at least not that I can find. I also couldn't find any info about whether or not you could record via USB, or if the USB was strictly for power purposes. I had to experiment to find that out on my own. One other thing to be aware of is that these microphones use a UHF band of signals, which isn't necessarily a bad thing on its own, it's going to depend on where you live and if there's a lot of interference in the area. Basically things like TV stations and walkie talkies and other pieces of electronic equipment can all interfere with your wireless transmission if there's other things going on around you. I didn't experience any of that in my testing, but I know from previous experience with similar products that that sort of thing can be a problem. Anyway, let's move on to the lapel mics. The first one I'm going to try out is this USB lapel mic. For those of you who don't know, lapel mics are the little microphones you sometimes see on people's lapels, thus the name. They're used primarily for things like interviews or any situation where a shotgun mic or a boom microphone isn't really ideal. The box is pretty straightforward and gives you a good idea of what to expect inside. Uh, it feels like it's quality cardboard, like they didn't cheap out on the packaging at least, and it's got some good information on the back. When you open it up, there's a nice little message here on the front, which is kind of a nice gesture. And then inside, you're actually going to find a nice little bag that contains uh, all the actual parts of the lapel mic. Uh, of course, underneath the little baggie, we have our instructions, which in this case were actually pretty helpful and pretty detailed. They have everything in this little booklet from how to install the drivers on a Windows PC to the kind of pickup pattern the microphone has, and even all the technical specs of what kind of signal you can expect to capture using this lapel mic. Inside the little baggie we have the lapel mic itself, and as soon as I touched this I could tell that this was pretty high quality. These are not those flimsy little cables you normally see, and this is not a flimsy plastic clip. That's a metal clip. This is a high quality connector, high quality cable. It looks like a pretty decent distance, uh, maybe six to 10 feet in wire length, uh, which is pretty helpful. First thing I noticed was a high quality USB connector and the cable. This isn't some cheapo thing you get from the Geek app, which by the way, as I said, I bought a lapel mic from the Geek app and it was so bad, I just threw it away. I didn't even bother doing a review on it because it was that bad. As I said, I teach a film class and we are always looking for different ways to capture audio. And I do think that these lapel mics will work really well if you can hide it so that the camera doesn't see that it's actually connected to someone. This is an audio recording I made using this lapel mic. It sounds surprisingly good. The mic is clipped to the collar of my shirt and I'm looking straight ahead toward the camera. The resulting recording is clean and clear and very, very usable. In fact, all of the audio in this video has been recorded using this mic. As I said, the mic's cable is kind of short, but in a situation like this, if you have a YouTube channel or you're doing gaming or something, and you just want some higher quality audio and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this $18 lapel mic might be the way to go, and like I said, there's links down below if you're interested. Finally, we have the more standard lapel mic from the same company. This one is about a dollar more on Amazon and features a built-in amplifier. So the packing is pretty similar to the other one, with the same kind of images on the back, but the information has been updated to account for the difference in the product. When you open it up, you can notice clearly that this is a little bit different. It has a built-in amplifier with some buttons, it gives you a spare battery, and it has a quarter-inch adapter connected right to it. Once again inside, we have one of these really nice bags, which is always a treat. But then of course we have some instructions, which once again are actually pretty helpful. This time they talk about how the battery amplifier might be needed for some smartphones and not needed for other smartphones, and how to connect it, and all that stuff. Inside this tray, we can see the entirety of the lapel mic, including the little fuzzy windscreen. And there's actually a spare battery up there at the top, and I say spare because there is one inside already as well. This thing is amazing. It feels like a full-blown professional lapel mic. Uh, this isn't some cheapo little thing you can find on the Geek app. This thing's for real. This is legit. Uh, it's got a little switch there. It's got a much longer cable, which is very handy when you're doing actual productions. And of course, it has a quarter-inch adapter here so that you can go either from standard TRRRS to a quarter-inch. Once again, we have some great build quality, and this time the wire is way, way longer, making it much more usable. It also has a standard TRRRS jack, which means, of course, tip, ring, 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 sleeve, which means you can actually plug this into your smartphone and use your smartphone as a portable audio recording device. Unless, of course, you have the new iPhone. 
At the school, I usually have the students record audio into a little portable recording device thing that we have, simply because the onboard audio of most consumer cameras is less than amazing, and the little portable thing tends to work out better. However, a lot of smartphones have some pretty good audio recording capabilities, and I'm interested to see how well that works. But before we do anything like that, let's just see how well this microphone picks up when it's connected to my phone. This is yet another audio recording. I recorded this one using the non-USB lapel mic. Again, I'm looking straight ahead toward the camera, and again, I have the mic attached to my collar. So now I'm actually wearing both of these lapel mics, and I'm going to record some audio just to see uh, if one sounds better than the other. This is the final audio recording I will have to do for this video. As you saw, I'm wearing both lapel mics on my collar. The track on the top is the USB mic, and the track on the bottom is the standard TRRRS mic. As we switch between these, can you hear any difference? I really don't have anything negative to say about these lapel mics. I mean, even this clip is really high quality metal and it works really well. I'm very happy with my haul. This was a very successful experiment, especially considering I never heard of this company before I bought that PA speaker. I'm happy with just about everything I got. So if you're in the market for any of this stuff, I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I usually reply to comments during the first hour after uploading. I also release new videos every week. So until next time, keep being awesome. Idea really didn't give Ray much to say yes to. Still, the idea of the two of them trying to stop this whole war from the inside while the gears of war are already in motion could have been intriguing. Or, you know, you could just say, screw it, and let's go hang out on some tropical planet for the rest of our lives. Although, Kylo Ren probably wears his shorts all the way up to his boob, doesn't he?